I got one of my favorite Shipton uh, to look at. This one's a Bose music system. You know, the, the wave radio with the CD player. And the CD player is apparently not accepting discs. At least that's what it says. The fellow that shipped it to me is not his. Somebody brought it to him, and he shipped it to me. So it's third party. I'm going by info that was included with it. Let's uh, see what's wrong with it. This time I've got one of these Bose music systems. This one here. Made in Mexico. Engineered in the USA, made in Mexico. What models this one here? Music System 3. Apparently the CD player doesn't work properly. Doesn't accept the disc. This was shipped in, and the fellow that shipped it to me, he's shipping it in on someone else's behalf, so he doesn't really know the history of it. So let's plug it in and see what it does, or what it doesn't do. I hope that there's a remote with this somewhere because there's no buttons on the unit itself to operate it. There is a remote in the package. Uh, it says no disc. No kidding. Well, let's see if it will accept a disc. It won't. It won't accept the disc. Something is blocking the disc. Well, that will never do. Let's uh, pop it apart and see why. Look at the beefy screws, like a number three, number three Phillips. I've got one of these with a bad CD player. Oh, my, the CD player. The uh, ribbon cables are ripped right off the board. So we'll see if this one can be made to work. I got mine because the guy brought it to me and said it didn't work. It didn't work at all. And uh, found that it had been dropped or thrown or something. It was all broken, and the the CD player had been ripped right free from the uh, from the rest of the chassis, and um, the ribbon cable that connects it was was broken. Okay, what's wrong with this thing? I don't. Oh, it's bent. It is bent. Look at this. Or is it jammed? It could be jammed. This is the this is to protect inserting another disc when there's already one in it, but this is bowed up. Like, does somebody jam this thing, or does someone try to get a disc out that was jammed in it? That's interesting. I don't know that that's supposed to be bent at that angle like that. Look at this, like the metal here. That looks like it's twisted up, doesn't it? Like I think that's probably supposed to be a lot more flat. And this is not supposed to be bowed up like that. You see the, see what I'm talking about? The, uh, this is all kind of bowed up. It just kind of goes up and back. And these do appear to be bent. I don't think they were supposed to look like that. Maybe this machine's been bounced. That would not surprise me if it has been bounced guy that gave me mine and said he was in a fight with his out-of-control teen and his out-of-control teen threw it at him. I was looking to see if I see any ripped ribbon cables like the one that I have has. I don't see any ripped ribbon cables on this one yet. But we'll, we'll just try we'll just try straightening this up a bit. You see, I think this is, this is twisted. Maybe that's all that's wrong with it. Let's hope. I think these are probably supposed to be more down like that. Or even probably straight. One thing for sure, when those are sitting up like that, there's not a snowball's chance in hell a CD is going in it. But I just get the sneaking suspicion that these are all twisted from something. And this is bent too, it looks like. Let's just see whether it will uh, try and accept the discs now. Uh, 
That part looks like it's made in China. Even says made in China right on it. Oh, it thinks the disc is in. <laughs> it thinks the disc is in. As soon as I put the disc in, it tried to... Not playable. Hmm. Let's try the eject button on here. There. It's ejecting the disc. All right, let's try straightening these these now. Now that I can get them a little straighter. Definitely look like they've been twisted somehow. The whole mechanism looks like it's twisted. Okay, now will the disc go in it now? Well, it's making noise. It's just not playable. Um, Well, at least now it's ejecting a disc. Ah, it doesn't sound good. I don't think it's clamping the disc is what's wrong. Okay, so it's not clamping the disc. We'll have to open this up and see why. At least it's now letting me put a disc into it, which is more than before. I think that this bent cover here might have something to do with the fact that it's not reading I I think so I think that the bent cover may have something to do with the fact that it won't read the disc so we'll just um, pop the drive out of here let's look at the drive it looks like the the clamp is missing from the top where would the clamp be at least we can power it up and watch what it does when it tries to load the disc Does the radio work? Yep, the radio works. The disc clamp is missing. It's not going to read. The disc is spinning, but of course it's not going to spin right without a clamp holding it in place. I wonder where the rest of that clamp went. I mean, it, it couldn't fall out of the machine unless somebody took it apart. It's got to be in here somewhere. Because with the front cover on it, with the top cover, like nothing's falling out of this thing with this cover on unless someone was in there. I mean, that's possible someone got into it and already condemned this thing and then I get it too give a second opinion and condemn it a second time. I gotta love these Bose units. Do not reuse. In other words, if you unplug this board, you're supposed to throw it out and replace it. Now, the one that I have, the ribbon connector is ripped off on it. The ribbon cable, uh, I think one of the connectors is ripped off. 
one of these is ripped off. I think it was that one that's ripped off, and this one here. This one's ripped off the board. And the one that goes to the laser is ripped on mine. And I have been unable to find the parts for it. But I'm not ready to gut the, uh, the CD transport off of it just yet. Because I'm still hopeful I'm going to find a replacement transport for it. I might need parts off of it. I guess I better let the fellow knows the, 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 the fellow that owns this one know what we're up against. It's missing the clamp. It's the, the clamp is actually gone. It fits inside here. This was bent. So the fact that this was bent is a good indication that somebody was prying something. We were trying to get a disc out and when the disc came out, the clamp came out with the disc. And uh, I don't think there's anything in the box. Pretty sure nothing came in the box with it. I'll take a look and see, but I don't think so. All right, well, I'm just going to throw this together at this point. There's no point in uh, spending any more time on this at, at this time because uh, there's no parts. I don't have any parts for it. I You can't get parts. That's the problem with these units. They were great sounding little units. and They, they cost a small fortune, but Bose does not sell parts. They sell refurbished units is what they do. I don't know that they refurbish units that are this old anymore but they don't sell parts I had a fellow a couple of years ago had to actually had to mod his unit for him because what happened was he bent or he broke the the plug he had the optional three desk changer that you could buy for this unit and it plugs in using I think it's these two plugs here yeah it was a, a special plug that that plugged in into here uh, no, it didn't use the auxiliary, it just used this one. But anyway, when he plugged it in, he didn't have the plug straight and he bent one of the pins over and it snapped off inside the socket. And therefore it was only getting one channel. I think it was the left channel was out. So what I did on his was I rewired the auxiliary plug over to the pin that was broken and then made him a cable that he could just plug a second plug in so that this would carry the signals to control the CD changer and the audio on the input here, this one. And the reason that we did that was because I tried to get the little cable, the little cable about, I think about three inches long, four inches long, that comes out of the other player, like they sat on top of each other, and there was a little cable that came out of the back and it plugged into this. And it was a little cable about four inches long, like maybe six inches long, because it had it had a grommet on it, and then it plugged in to a header on the board on the other unit. And Bose does not sell that part. They told him that he had to send his CD changer in, and that they would send him a refurbished one for some ridiculous amount of money, like three hundred dollars, U.S. dollars. They would send him a refurbished unit. They would not sell the part. So we took our took it into our own hands. I made a, a, a cheater cable for it, and that unit is still functional as far as I know. So that's the problem with Bose. You cannot get parts for them. It's a closed shop, and they refurbish them themselves. They don't let anybody else do it. They won't sell you any parts for it. They won't give you any information. So that CD drive, for example, You'd have to send this unit. If I don't know that they're even servicing these ones anymore, but if they were, you would send them the unit, and they would send you back a different unit that had been refurbished, and then they would pull parts off of it. They probably got old machines and just recycle parts at this point, because these are getting pretty long in the tooth now. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do on this one for now. Got to get a hold of the guy that sent it to me, and he's going to have to get a hold of the person that gave it to him and decide what they want to do. And either they want to have it shipped back up north because this came from the Yukon territory and pay the shipping to get it back or maybe they'll abandon it and if they abandon it maybe I'll be able to fix the one that I've got with parts off of this one. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.